everyone. Hi, Rob. And welcome back to the Dog and Parks, the place of own fine craft tales. If you haven't met him before, you won't find him a riding a bicycle made for two. You might find him riding in a moon buggy, because the roads around here have more craters than the moon. The world famous, <laughs> shaken, but not stirred, Alan Partridge. <laughs> this is my brewmaster, brother. Hey, Partridge. Nearly fluffed that, didn't I? Hey, nearly fluffed that, didn't I? He's right, though. Roads. You know what you need to do, Rob, Rob don't you? Stop paying cash tax. I pay more tax. Pay more tax? Yeah. I'm doing that anyway. You won't pay more tax because your car's not taxed enough, you're not paying enough council tax, and you're not paying enough tax for stuff. I'm not. I'll just give your wages away. It feels like I am, really, to be honest. You might as well work, work, get to come into society and just work for nothing, and then everything's free. A anyway, moving away from our political standpoint, this is the party place <laughs> for fine <laughs> <and> crap tales. <laughs> it is indeed. Uh, uh, what are we here to do then, bro? Takes me a bro. <laughs> Uh, uh, what we got? A range of beers from a range of supplies around the world. Uh, shall we start this end? Well, just before we, oh. we, we, we start, I'd just like to say hello to all our subscribers, especially uh, uh, one called Paul Vickers, who's struggling a little bit at the minute. Oh. He's had some operations, can't walk, so he's watched all of our back catalogue. Oh, has he really? And uh, I hope you've speedy recovery, Paul. Yeah, uh, best of recovery to you, Paul. You may, may find on the early videos we're both a bit slimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the midst of time. Everybody's not coping very well out there or has any operations and you, you are struggling, please get well soon. Yeah, please get well soon. Speed and recover. Hey, Bob, Even if you just got the out, out, just a teeny little bit if they help, that's great. Right, moving on to beer. Beer then, here we go then. So this is, uh, this is Munton's. It is indeed. Munton's Gold, 40 yes. pint beer. Yes. And we've had it before. Old English Bitter, uh, ABV, 4.5, chance in it. It looks uh, approximately like that in the old uh, tin there thing, can't I? Uh, I take it, this is my air track kit, my looks in this area. Yeah, two tins in there, love to dissolve in uh, boiling water, add some cold water, yeast comes with it. Where you go, basically. Uh, so the yeast comes with it, add anything else to it? Uh, no. That's it. That's it. Easy peasy, this one. Uh, do we know the price of roughly on that one? That's 22 quid. That's 22 quid. This fine old English beer. 24. Mm. Rekindles the full bodied rich ales of Victorian Britain. Yeah. Uh, enjoyed best when served at a temperature of uh, 13 degrees Celsius, apparently. A bit colder than that. Uh, yeah, I'd say a bit colder than that. This quality beer combines premium brewing, malt, and the choicest hops. Blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of information on this box. Oh, uh, I have done this one before. That's some time when the bar was the way around, I think. Yeah. Um, all grain brewing is brilliant. Uh, to keep the brewery flow going yes. you need extra kits to boost our Plus, supplies yeah. if you like quicker to do quicker to do yeah quicker to do right there then so this is one of the reasons i've done this again <laughs> well classic english beer smell classic english beer smell does what it says in the can it's in the box really right? there's a mixture of malts and uh, hops going through there he's already in isn't he? I'm already he's in. drinking away there <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm already in, in. So, sorry too late Oh, that's not bad actually. You know what, after day work, that's mighty fine. It is, isn't it? Yeah. After our day's graft. That does exactly what it anymore. says on the box. That is uh, a classic English bitter. Can't knock it. Can't it. knock it. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I Can not be five, five. No, but it does do what it says. Yes, yes. And it's quite a nice drink. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not no 10. Yes. I'm out of ten. If you're going for personal preference, then no, you might come down to a nine or a nine and a mm. half, whatever. But yeah. 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 Good eh? Right, yeah. Right, yeah, bro. Uh, we, we're moving swiftly on to the next beer, I believe. We are indeed, sir. We're now going to Australia. So hello to all our Australian friends. Good day. <laughs> Let's them off. Uh, anyway, uh, Morgan's Young's Double Chock Stout Style Recipe Pack. Double Ooh, Chock pack. Stout. There you go. So this has got in it uh, Dark Sounds... Uh, Dockside Stout Kit. Yes. A Morgan's Master Moasted Malt, malt Kit. Yes. Samuel Williams Creme de Caco 50 mm I presume that's the uh, chocolate flavouring. I presume so. It's like it's like an essence. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. like you know like vanilla essence, but this is chocolate essence. Right. Yeah. Uh, Morgan's Premium English Ale Yeast. Uh, uh, five and a half percent. Uh, all the information on how to brew. Do we know a rough uh, cost? Yeah, they're quite expensive because you yeah. do get all that together. You, you get two there, tins, yeah. uh, the, uh, the yeast, etc., etc. And obviously, you make it five and a half percent. You need a little bit of sugar as well. Yeah. So, yeah. 
There you go. There you have it. <laughs> I can't describe, describe the smell of that one. I can. Go on then. Coal? Cocoa Pops. Really? Yeah, I've never, never had Cocoa Pops, so I don't know. Yeah, it's that like chocolate sugary sort of... I, I, when you say chocolate and sugary, I'm, I'm kind of with you, you there. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not the nicest of smells, no, is it? pretty powerful, pretty potent, pretty strong, isn't it? I, I hate to say this, because I've been decorating now with the Easter holidays, a little bit of paint. <laughs> anyway, the menu's just got some on my nose, but... <laughs> As in turpentine or glass? No, I, I, as, in, as in a bit of emulsion. <laughs> <laughs> Put emulsion in here, right? Right. Right. Um, well, it's not a pleasant smell, I don't think, personally. What do you think? No, I don't think it's not my favourite smell. It smells smell. like a burnt it? chocolate factory, doesn't it? Yeah. Really well, burnt for I me. I hope it tastes better. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you mouth for that on my beer. Oh, I'm in the middle of it. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. That is not nice. If you like chocolate, I mean, I mean a bucket load is of it? dark, rich chocolate is it? that's really, 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 really bitter. You like that? I don't think, I don't think it's too, even beyond that. I mean, I like a bit of chocolate, but Jesus. I don't know if he's meant to put all that. Uh, um, if you've done this, guys, in Australia, let me know if you put all that little oh, bottle of <laughs> essence in, or just some. I'll put it all in. It said put it all in. But that's why. That's, that's too much. That's, that's horrible. That's, wow. That's I can't see us drinking that one, bro. That's going down the sink, mate. Not because... Well, not because it's a bad beer, because the, the flavour is, is horrible. It's just horrible. too strong. It's horrible. I, I don't even know their market, bro. I mean, if it's undrinkable, which I'm thinking it's bordering on, you've got to be... I can't mark it. I can't mark it. It's, it's yeah. too low. It's, just, it's like a two or a three. It's just really not good. It's just not good. That's this point. From the smell... From the smell to drinking it, I mean, as soon as I smell it, it's like... It's, it's not all for anything, don't get me wrong like that. I haven't done anything wrong. It is just that style it, of style. Very sh chocolatey, very sharp sort of chocolate and suck your face inside I it. I don't know if you give that a bit of fizz, like, and if you put it in bottles and made it fizzy, like, and made it, like, I don't know, crafted. And watered it down and made it a shanty. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I sat one that way. Fuck, <sighs> yeah. Right. Right, we're coming back in England now, we're off to Cornwall. It's not Miller, it's an hostel. And they have been to St. Hostel, St. Brewery. 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 And everybody knows this, because this is a tribute. Yeah, it's not true. This is actually a tribute to tribute. Yeah, this is a, actually a tribute to tribute. Now, they, they have actually been down St. Hostel, teamed up with the guys there. The guys there worked them out recipe for us own brewers to give like an authentic... Tribute. If you like tribute, you buy it in bottles in most shops. You can get it down there in Cornwall. So yeah, I'm actually on the website because this this was a uh, this was a full grain kit. One of them. This is full grain. So this all grain recipe kit for a clone of the recipe of tribute, the Cornish yeah. Pale Ale. Yeah. Um, a uh, bit of quite a bit of blurb on there, but basically they're saying that uh, recipe given to us by Saint Austell Brewery. If you're a fan of the real thing, uh, it's another clone recipe kit inspired by holidays in Cornwall and goes on what have you. And um, we all know what it should taste like. Uh, twenty-two pounds, by the way, on the website there. Yeah. Not bad price. Yeah, not bad. I don't know if that includes the yeast or not, but uh, anyway, I just bought it, made it, and and uh, yeah, where you go. Oh, that's a nicer smell. Oh, oh, that almost smells oh. like Cornwall, doesn't it? You, you can smell, just... you can smell corn and grain and yeah, you summer. Can't look, look and... All the nice things that beer should smell of. Yeah, it's not chocolate. <laughs> oh, it's better. Yeah, now, it's that... not quite as clear as it should be because. <laughs> It does come with a clearing agent. Okay. And guess where the clearing agent is? It's still in the box. It's still in the box. Ah, okay, okay. In the fridge. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not too fussed about that. Um, <laughs> just cut. It's a hazy tribute. 
Well, it's, it's, it's everything you want. It's a yeah. nice, clean, crisp sort of smell to it. Yeah. Yeah, everything you know. Stop talking. Let's go on. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's on it tonight, isn't he? Oh, my. Because you're the one so bad that that's so good, <laughs> but that is cracking. You don't make it that well in coma, I'll tell you now. <laughs> that's best, and it is from the brewery. That is good. That's delicious. It's everything you want in a classic pearl English oh. bitter. It's smooth, it's rounded, it's well balanced, it's not over up. It leaves a nice well, dryness on the top. Tongue, it's lovely. This is just a quaffable beer. That's lovely, absolutely fantastic. Uh, straight with 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, Definitely a 10 out of 10. Lovely. Get over it. If you like tribute, get over to Mark Miller and try that one. There is a few other tribute kits on the market, mm. yeah. but this one should be more genuine than Mother's yeah. because this one has been there. Been there. Yeah. Been there. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. It's lovely, lovely. It's just, well, like I say, rolls across the tongue. Actually, just. Oh, nothing, I'm going to have to have another beer because there's, there's, that... no, there's nothing homebrew tasting about that beer oh, at all, is there? I think this is as good as what you'll get in any pub. Well, it is. It is, is pub is quality. Mm. What I always wanted to do, ever since I've been home brewing, is brew a beer that you get in the pub, you can drink on your bar. Yeah, yeah and exactly. Obviously, this is one you yeah. can find in the pub and you can drink in your bar. Yeah. And it is as good as. Yeah. Every bit, it's if not better. Fantastic. Right then, bro, viewers, this, oh, well, I've drank too much. It's as simple as that. Uh, coming next time, we've got a Brew Bit Snow Boil Mango IPA. Yes. We've had some no boil off, oh, off yeah. them. We did quite like them. I was quite impressed. I was just about to say, we were quite impressed with the last one, weren't we? Uh, Brew Brothers Raspberry Milkshake IPA. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dark Rock <laughs> Citra. <laughs> and, and possibly, I like that, and possibly lager squibbling at the bottom. <laughs> possibly. 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 I did taste it when I was um, um, kegging it. And uh, I did think it did not taste right, so I think I've done that own brew thing. It's got infected. Oh, is it got infected? <laughs> I don't know. It certainly didn't taste right. I was hoping it might be just go off as it, you know, you tell us, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, thank you to everybody there in YouTube land that watches our videos and comments away. If you're watching us anywhere else, get on over to YouTube and subscribe away. Yeah, comment away. Comment away. Stop paying taps. <laughs> Let's all get together and stop paying tax on everything. Oh, my life. It's not going to happen, is it? Never. No. There you go. <laughs> no. I'm not collective anymore. Uh, no. No. Uh. Right. On that note, <laughs> Mr. Happy here. <laughs> on that note, it's a goodbye from him. It's a goodbye from him. Toora. 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 Who's on? To the king. <laughs> That's it. It was beer this episode. I tell you. I had too much of this. <laughs>